Coach Nicolas Senyak is here with me, and he's never seen this before. So I wanted to show him this. So, Coach, this is low kicks only, only to the thigh. Wow. Yeah. And Muay Thai well, girl versus Kyokushin. It's very exciting. Yeah, exactly. Who do you think is going to win this? Oh, I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, so I guess we'll have to see how they kick, right? Oh, Kyokushin girl has a little bit better snap on the kick, I think. Yeah, and they tend to, you know, take a lot of punishment. Yeah. So... Yeah. We'll see. They're both wow. putting their weight yeah, into it. Yeah, it's interesting it to, to see how they get it. Yeah. Yeah. And from what a viewer told me, not only do they put their weight into it, every time they want a different part of their thigh to receive it. So that's a strategic thing to do. You know, if, uh, if they are able to catch this, and you know they definitely have to look for the same spot yeah exactly exactly so i guess as the kicker you want to aim as close to the same spot as possible yeah yeah as many times as possible are there any drills like this in savat um not to take a kick okay <laughs> <laughs> not like this <laughs> no i mean you know savat is proning really like movement and and getting away yeah uh, so yeah, exactly no, we this don't. is counter to what a T-Hair would want. It's like uh, T-Hair be like, I practice yeah, evasion. Absolutely. <laughs> but I mean, we don't see the marks on the Kyuko Shinkai because of the gi, mm -hmm. but uh, you can see like it's already doing damage on yeah. the um, uh, Muay Thai girl. Yeah, I think the Muay Thai girl just gave up, man. Oh, that's it? Yeah, she just gave up. Yeah. Wow. So we'll watch it a little bit more in slow motion. We'll see what happens. I just don't think, I mean, like you said, coach, Obviously, it's doing damage to Kyokushin Kai, yeah. but I don't think it's doing as much damage as the Kyokushin Kai is doing to the Muay Thai girl. I don't know. And then here it's like, oh, please aim here. Don't hit my knee or something. Well, she's not hitting the knee. You can yeah. see clearly where she's yeah, kicking. Definitely in the thigh. <laughs> the other thing and, is... Uh, but, uh, you know, what's interesting is like she's the one who's starting to talk. She's the one who uh, has facial reactions like oh. almost right after the, the, the second kick. And she's stepping more and more into it. And mm -hmm. she's slowing down when she goes. Uh, so oh. you, you can tell. I mean, I, after the fact, those are things that, you know, you can uh, analyze and see. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. The the Kyokushin girl. I mean, I think Kyokushin people just train to be so deadpan in yeah. receiving these strikes. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And then, yeah, let's see. So Muay Thai girl gives it. And then see Kyokushin girl even gives a smile. Yeah. And then, yeah, like you yeah, said. Yeah, you can see the face yeah. like, tense, and then she's, you know, the voice is coming out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then, so the ref's giving a little bit of a reminder or something. And then, yeah. Just the, just that, the stare into nothing. Yeah. She's like, I'm not feeling Like anything. nothing happened. Yeah, I'm a Terminator. Whereas, yeah, like you said, the, the Muay Thai girl's really leaning into it now. That's a very interesting point of psychology, too. If you really lean into it, maybe it shows you're scared. So if you only lean to a little, it's like, I'm so not afraid that yeah. I'm only going to put a little bit of weight into it. Wow. So there is a lot more strategy to this than it looks. There's got to be. I mean, it's, it's you know, when you look at a style that you're not used to, there's always more than, than you, you... I think you are willing to see because it's a simple technique. Yeah. However... <laughs> Yeah, it's designed to do damage, and you can see how much damage it does. Yeah. So you know, for anyone out there who think it's okay to take a little <laughs> kick, yeah, uh, bad news. Yeah, yeah. And right here is where Coach noticed, like she's stalling basically. Yeah. She's hurting. She is, and and um, you know, you can see what the redness is, and it's really like right on top of the thigh. Yeah. And she's complaining that it's close to the knee, which. You know, for me, in terms of Sabbath, that's really where you want to go as much as possible. Makes sense. Uh, but uh, that's not what she's being hit. Like, yeah. It's right in the middle of the thigh. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, exactly. I did notice too, Coach, that the Kyokushin girl, you see how she receives that strike? Yeah. She receives the strike. She puts a different type of weight than how the Muay Thai girl puts weight. I'm making almost like a C with my... Like, see, she goes yeah. like a C. Yeah. Whereas, look at how Muay Thai girl, Muay Thai girl She's putting really dead weight on flexing. it. So, I think the problem with the, the technique that she does, the defensive techniques or the, the like the 
the way she takes it mm -hmm. is she's flexing way too much. Oh. And the Kiko Shinkai uh, uh, woman is like the leg is not straight, but I think the, the quad definitely from the position that I see has to be more relaxed. Makes sense. That makes sense because if you tense up so much and it receives a strike, it's going to just tense up even more. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. The Muay Thai girl is not happy. She's like, we Muay Thai people are supposed to be the best at receiving any type of kick, but Kyokushin people giving, dominate. Giving, uh, yeah, yeah, receiving, I mean, receiving, it's a matter of, ooh, she's going to have a tough time the yep. following day. Yeah, look at sure. how red the leg is. Yeah. Ooh, look how red the leg is. Ooh. Yeah. Wow, she can't, she, see, she's not even putting weight. Hey, she's like me, only oh, putting can. weight on her right leg. This was held in Valencia in Spain. Okay. So low kick championship, guys. Make sure to not just follow us and subscribe and press a like, but go to low kick championship and say that if I come to your breakdown to Coach Nicholas Senyak said hi. Guys, I brought on Coach Nicholas Senyak, right? So you guys have to go to low kick championship and subscribe to them if you're not. And also I will put a link to some sabak courses from Coach Nicholas. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so you'll learn the art of evading a kick instead of taking a kick. <laughs> we weren't actually even planning on being on camera, but since we were discussing this, I was like, let's talk about this. So Coach Nicholas was like, can you have a person go through a bracket? And yeah. we realized that, well, unfortunately, the issue is that after one bout, even if you win, you're probably pretty much not able to compete again. Yeah, you're right too much damage. I mean, you can see like, you know, how many kicks did she take? Yeah. Four, yeah. five? <laughs> yeah. And that's it. And that's really, I think, giving credit to how much damage a low kick, well executed does. Yeah. Uh, and why you don't want to take too many. Yeah, And exactly. I would say, avoid them at all costs. <laughs> yeah, agreed. So the idea I had to follow up on what Coach Nicholas was saying is that you could potentially have a bracket style. You would have teammates. So you have to strategically, yeah. let's say me, Coach Nicholas, and another student, right? So the three of us versus a team of three. We'd have to strategically, okay, Jerry, you take that person, and then Coach Nicholas takes the next person. and So then that's how you work the bracket. Yeah, that would I, be interesting. Yeah, I think we should have it. So like a team Kyokushin versus a team Muay Thai. There is a lot more strategy to this than it looks. And I think if you add a team component, it'll really make this an extra flair. You could see the difference in the way they were taking it. Yeah. You know, it's it's the uh, one, the leg was more loose than the other, where, you know, it was like really contracted. Do you think any of your students or former teammate students in Spain or France might go to Valencia to do a next tournament like Jewish? this? Yeah. No, I, don't so. <laughs> I don't think so. Personally, I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't do uh, knuckles fighting. Yeah. Like, my philosophy is to avoid as much as you can yeah. possibly avoid. Like, Agreed. You know, stress the defense and extend the longevity of what it is that you want to do. Yeah. Like, I really wonder how long it takes for those competitors to recover. You know, from one bout to the next. When is the next competition? Yeah. When can they start training again? Yeah. Um, because it's one thing to be kicked, you know, as you're moving around, you know, and bouncing in front of someone, as opposed to standing still. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah. I never, I've never tried that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Now, some viewers mentioned this, and I featured this in the past. There is a sport in the UK called shin kicking, where they kick each other in the shins until one person gives up. Now, I don't know if the organizers of Low Kick Championship were inspired by shin kicking, but there is a similar sport in the UK. It's more of a folk sport that's been around for hundreds of years. So if you guys want to see more low kick competition, look up shin kicking also. Wow, that's that's interesting. Do they kick with the shoes? Or? I think so. So okay. they kick each other's shins. So here with shoes. Using coup de pied <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Yeah, we have not seen that yet. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, wow. uh, make sure to follow Low Kick Championship. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And again, Coach Nicholas's courses will be in the description. So, go check them out on Teachable. Yes. Cool. If I come to your breakdowns out.